So we just uh, hung up the phone with a client of the laboratory. Uh, this is the office, and this is where all the data, after it's processed in the lab, comes in for calculation and processing on the, on the computers. And that's where the reports are generated and sent to the clients. Everything starts on this table, this counter here. And this counter is our sorting table. When our plant material come from the field to the lab, they end up on this table where they're sorted. Uh, we were lucky to be able to design the lab for a forage, for forage research. So this first bench here and this entire wing is for in vitro organic matter digestibility. Okay, that's where the samples are sorted out. This is the fume hood where um, acid pepsin is done. And these are some of our um, incubators where we can keep the samples at the right temperature, which is 39 degrees Celsius. This is our fiber analyzer, where we do the NDF and ADF samples and everything is, is here. And we have our newcomer here, which is the NEARS equipment. Um, more and more samples, we have more and more requests to, to have some samples scanned on the NEARS. So we also keep a refrigerator. You know, as some samples need to be frozen or, or some reagents need to be cooled. But it's specified that no food or drink can be kept in there. We have our furnaces that can cook samples at 500 degrees C. And right behind you we have some, uh, actually it's probably here, no? We have some uh, samples being dried. So this is our hot room. We also have an air extractor. We kind of shut it down right now because so when we have smoke, so the smoke can be taken out of the building. It's, it's all part of the process of thinking the, the, the building so that we can, uh, we can make sure we don't inconvenience the people working. If we have smoke in here that cannot be removed, that would be a health problem. So here we have our collection of personal protective equipment. We have our safety shower in case we have issues with, um, with acid burns. And this is our acid room. Acid has been isolated because it's, it's very damaging to surfaces. Uh, you know, as you, you can see, you know, if acid can damage surfaces, can damage different things and uh, so all the acid work is kept in here. See this is our acid fume home with our digester. It's an aluminum blood digester that is currently cooking 120 samples that have been digested this morning. Uh, we also have arranged to have a corner for hazardous waste processing so that we can collect the hazardous waste and uh, call the service to pick them up when, when they're full. Whatever lab you built, you have to think of the space and how can you make the space as people friendly as possible to ensure that safety of each and everyone working in that space is thought first. That's the first thing people have to be safe in the lab and got to make sure, especially when you have students, um, you know, students have been entrusted to our care and we want to make sure that nobody gets hurt. And that, that, is, that is the main objective, you know, getting good results, but also taking good care of your people.